If you want to stick with your goal until you reach it, there is one question you must ask before you officially set the goal. And I want to share it with you. You know, this is the third in a six part coaching series about asking yourself the kinds of questions that will really move you forward. And I've been asking for questions from some of you. And this week, here it is. I struggle to stay motivated towards my goals. I start off kind of excited. And then as it gets hard or it takes longer than I'd like, I seem to give up too easily. Like I find excuses for why the goal is optional or why it doesn't really matter as much as I thought it did when I set it. How can I do better in staying motivated until I reach my goals? This is a great question. I don't know if you've ever been there. Most of us at some point have found ourselves setting a goal and then just losing steam. I mean, did you set some goals back in January? Do you have some that have just kind of fallen by the wayside? Maybe you haven't even thought of them anymore. You know, a lot of times we're looking for the right answers, but what we really need is to make sure we start with the right question. And there's a lot of research around goal setting and goal getting. In fact, we teach a whole course called goal setting and goal getting in our coach training program for that very reason, because when you understand what it really takes to stay motivated and to get motivated in the first place towards a goal, it makes your whole process a lot more effective and efficient. You waste less time and you get to your goals faster. So I want to give you one question to coach yourself with, and it is this. When you think about that goal that it's so important for you to stay motivated towards, what will your goal give you that you don't already have? I'm going to ask that again. What will your goal give you that you don't already have? Here's the thing. We want to make sure that the effort that we put towards a goal is ultimately going to be worth it. And so what that means is when we ask, what will my goal give me? What we're really saying is, what's the purpose behind this? What am I going to get as a result of putting forth the effort, the resources, the time that it's going to take for me to get to that goal? And a lot of times we don't ask that question. You want to understand that, you know, there are some benefits to every goal, but sometimes the benefit doesn't outweigh the effort. So you might be offered a promotion, right? And, and maybe that was the goal, but you realize if you take it, the time that you're going to have to invest conflicts with the freedom that you're wanting to have more of. Um, sometimes, you know, money isn't ultimately the thing that we're wanting more of. At other times, it is a goal about stepping up and asking for more and having the courage to do that will be worth it. So when we say, what will my goal give me? Well, it's going to give me a lot more satisfaction or it's going to give me more freedom. It's going to ultimately be worth the effort and the resources that it's going to take in order to reach the goal. So when we know that, when we know what that goal is going to give us that we don't already have, then we know the purpose behind the goal and purpose fuels perseverance. And here's the thing, if you answer that question and you think, I don't think this goal is going to be worth it. Don't be upset about that. That's great news because you can do one of two things. You can either tweak the goal to make it more meaningful, or you can give yourself permission to drop the goal altogether. Either way, you're going to be in a better position because either you're going to have a more meaningful goal or you're going to free up your time for other things that matter even more. So that's your coaching question. What will your goal give you that you don't already have? If you've been thinking about how you can grow more, or maybe you've even thought about this whole idea of coaching or self-coaching, I've got a really great free course I want you to try out. It's called How to Coach Yourself. I created it around a book that I wrote called Life Coaching for Successful Women. And if you go to ValerieBurton.com, you can take the free course. Or maybe you're ready to go a little further in your personal growth because where we go is really determined largely by how much we are willing to grow. And if that, that's you, you might be interested in my membership, which is the Successful Women's Academy, or SWA, as we like to call it. You can find that on ValerieBurton.com as well. But until next time, I want you to remember, sometimes what you really need to do is stop and ask yourself the right question. And if it's a goal that you're thinking about, make sure you know the purpose behind it by asking, what will this goal give me that I don't already 